Out in the shop this morning, it's the Tuesday, uh, right after Christmas, getting back to work. Before I uh, get started on this two-door right behind me, I thought I'd give you guys an update on the Roadster. Let's just go ahead and check that out. Alright, so here's the Roadster body. So, I managed to get some time over Christmas break to get out here and <clears throat> measure off and cut out the, the rear floor back here. Now, we had to cut out the... Uh, the area on the sub rails where it would normally mount to the frame and then along the outer sub rail to uh, accommodate the step in the frame so you know once we get this on the the chassis we'll box this all back in and and put a floor in and it'll look nice <clears throat> so yeah we got that done feels good I can't wait to get this thing on the chassis to see how it looks. Matter of fact, um, I guess I'll go ahead and give you guys kind of a walkthrough on the chassis next, since I haven't done that yet. So I'm wanting to uh, I'm wanting to name this Roadster eventually. So my other Model A, my uh, 30 Coupe which I haven't shared with you guys yet. It's been with the family for about three years. Um, I named it Louise. And I'm wanting to name this Roadster also. I don't know what to name it yet. I thought about maybe naming it after my company, Resilience. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and comment below what we should name this build. And we'll come up with the name at some point but let's go ahead and uh, look over the chassis real quick all right so here's the chassis so it has a lot of work left to be done on it but got a pretty good start um, it has a 8ba out of a 51 sedan uh, my wife and i took the heads off inspected the motor painted it put the heads back on put the intake back on that kind of stuff uh, last winter and then got a t5 world-class transmission which would be really nice with this flathead uh, it really makes them scoot down the road and travel at better highway speeds uh, the frame is a stock model a frame that's been boxed um, it was boxed by uh, Noah Norwood uh, he is the hot rod kid out of McMinnville, Oregon. He's a really good guy. You should check out his stuff. Uh, we put we got the ladder bars tacked in for now. Trying to see exactly where we want to put them. <clears throat> it's got a 36 rear end that's had the open drive line conversion done on it from Speedway. Um, Step frame, obviously. And then reverse eye drop spring in the rear with every other leaf removed so i kind of have a feeling it i might have to add a couple springs but we'll have to see once we get this thing all put together and and see how it goes over bumps and stuff and see if we bottom out i'm obviously going to have to shorten those those uh u-bolts once i get new the threads extended on them i'll cut them back so they don't hit the pumpkin back there but uh so up front we've got um a mono spring that's also reverse eye and then we've got a 40 drop axle so this car is going to sit really low but at the same time it's not going to be on bags or super stepped you know frame in the front the back it's going to look um more on the the traditional side of a hot rod um you know with the exception of you know the t5 transmission and probably an aluminum radiator and that kind of thing i plan on putting a 32 um grill on this thing so that'll look pretty cool um 
wheels and tires i got off uh facebook marketplace there was a guy up near portland that was selling them i think i paid 400 dollars for the set so i got a really good deal on that um it's not quite the style i was going for um definitely one of the big and littles but i wanted more of like a wire wheel but you know for 400 bucks you can't pass that up especially when you're trying to build a hot rod on a budget and uh and you're trying to start a new business so but this should turn out really good i uh, got a got all the steering components already i gotta finish boxing up the frame here where i took out the the uh center cross member there to make room for the transmission paint the frame put the rear shocks in uh, run brake lines. It's got all brand new brakes all the way around uh, from Speedway Motors. Um, it's got a new alternator, new belt, new carb. I mean, you know, I've been trying my best to save up and buy all new stuff for this. So it's going to be like a brand new car when it's all put together, which would be really cool. So, yeah, so go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and uh, we'll. We will uh, be doing more updates on this. So the next, the project that I'm working on right now is this 32 door sedan. And I've done a few things to it so far, but I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough on this probably this week, once the weather kind of gets better. Uh, we're experiencing really high winds and rain right now. The power has been going in and out. So once the weather gets better, uh, I'll walk you guys through this and what we've done to it, what we will be doing to it, and uh, how much it's going to be listed for. And so all you guys watching and keeping up with what we're doing will have a chance to uh, own this thing. It's a really nice, solid... Hey, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you uh, for all of you that have subscribed to the channel so far. We're really small. Like I mentioned in some of the other videos, it's just myself and uh, probably my dad helped me every once in a while and my wife coming out of the office to help me every once in a while. So really small. I'm just doing what I like to do. I work on Model A's. Um, I like traditional hot rods. I'm not a car builder by any means. I'm not trying to be the next big thing on YouTube or whatever or Facebook or Instagram. I'm just documenting what I'm doing and taking you guys along with me if you want to. Um, I decided that when I was going to do this, I was going to document it so I can look back and see where I came from. And so that's that's the per that's the main purpose of the videos. Um, but I enjoy seeing you guys' comments and interacting with you guys uh, on the interwebs. So it's 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 really nice. Uh, so, if you're watching this and you want to see what we do in the future, uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and, and put a comment down below so we can interact with you and talk about cars. Uh, I really like talking about cars. I talk about cars and trucks all day long. So, let's, let's do it together and uh, just keep tuning in and we'll have some fun with these old rigs. Thank <laughs> you.